You're right, everyone. It's Ace here from Romany Custom Catapults. I hope everyone's doing well. It is a fantastically beautiful Saturday afternoon. Well, I wouldn't say it's afternoon really just yet. It's one o'clock or so. A couple of bills to show you all here. These bills are going out to one person. They already own several hot shots, several RCC catapults, to be fair. But uh, I thought I'd do a quick video on them. I've also been doing a few YouTube shorts because I've realised on YouTube, uh, you don't get the content I put on Facebook and Instagram. Well, I say Instagram. Facebook, I put a lot of build updates, showing how stuff gets built, stuff like that. Uh, Instagram is mainly my personal life and my training and, well, mainly catapults that I've finished and done. You get pictures. On here, you don't get the pictures that I take. Uh, and you don't really get build updates. You, you're just getting what, what I'm showing you here. So... I've started uploading shorts, which will show you more about day-to-day -day RCC life, what I'm doing, what I'm working on. Uh, I'm going to start doing little videos of what I can achieve in one minute, minute like YouTube shorts. that You can do 15 seconds or one minute. In one minute, I'm going to see if I can band up a Raptor with clips and see how long it takes me to band up, wrap and tuck. And yeah, just, just fitting stuff in, in in 60 seconds, like cramming really. Uh, interesting little shorts because I know not everyone's going to want to watch this video and watch the length of time they go on for so little quick short videos I think will be very good uh, and also get me on the camera a bit more rather than just seeing catapults and hands um, what else uh, yeah also little things on how I build little tricks and what I do and just just simple things that people might find interesting uh, I'm also going to start stop uploading loads of videos at once and going for long periods of time without doing these videos. I'm going to try and get them uploaded as and when. So we get, we're get, we going to try and get this YouTube channel a little bit more informative, let's say. Anyway, without further ado, in front of you, you have two Hot Shots, a full-size one and a Mini. The Mini being the second Mini that I've done, and I absolutely love them. I'm going to be honest, I feel I'm building a catapult for myself currently, which should be done not next week, the week after. I'm going to take a couple of days off just to do it because it's about time. I'm also going to make myself a mini hot shot just to carry, just to show people. Uh, so I've always got a catapult on me then just to, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to go overly complex with the build. I'm going to keep it something like what's in view now. Something quite simple. No optics or anything like that because, well, there's point in having an optic because the, the outer width will be completely different than what I really shoot. So it'll be too narrow. But... Yeah, just a fun little plinker. Anyway, let's go in with the mini first. Orange and white, great colour schemes. Looks fantastic on a lovely bright day like today. As you can see, we've got the join in the middle, like the little crisscross. Same on the back. Shape lovely. Give you an idea of size. I've got small hands, but I can get a full grip on this catapult. Some wouldn't. Uh, yeah. Slanted tips, no optics on this. So it works left or right hand hold. A little bit of white around the pin. Tried to sand it down, but I'd probably need to sand a millimetre to get that off. And that was a new bit as well. Painted riv nuts. I actually hand paint all these riv nuts black. Or whatever colour I think suits. Black being the go-to. Shaped in nice. Really accurate. A bit of a close-up for you all. Yeah. I mean, I can polish G10 to a lot shinier finish. If I sand it right up through the grits. But I prefer, G10's a quality material. I prefer it to have more of a satin kind of finish. Resins, carbon, stuff like that. Mirror finish them, get them shiny as hell, like metal. Uh, but no, me G10 I like to kind of, I choose to keep it a little bit more matte. Same kind of thing going on here. I love building like this. I've mentioned it in videos before. I like this double split face with a solid piece core. Uh, I like this little crisscross. This is pretty much the same as the smaller one, just bigger. This is a 92mm wide one, I think. Don't know what the hell that is on my nails. Sort that out in a minute. All got matching beads. I'm waiting on some uh, key rings. So, these ain't going to be posted until the key rings come in. Little fingerprints here and there on this because obviously I've mauled it up. I'll give it a wipe over before I post it out. But yeah. Hot shots. I feel the hot shot is one of the best symmetrical builds on the planet. Ambidextrous. Uh, we've got a, not too deep of a cup, but a nice deep cup for, for beginners. It is quite a wide brace. 
a lot wider brace. That's one of the things on this build. I, I like a wider brace. It can be pinched, but it's mainly just a good wide brace. You can wrap your thumb around or brace it up. Yeah, and I try and keep this wide brace despite the outer width. A lot of catapults have a lot narrower brace than this, so it does feel different. It's also not an overly long catapult. I mean, a lot of catapults have too much length on them. You don't need it. I try and keep these short, but obviously they can be modified to suit whatever someone wants. I wanted orange bolt cups for this, but they're out of stock, so we've gone with gold. Uh, I could have gone with black, but I don't have any. I do have black ones on the way, but I think it looks cool with the gold ones. Anyway, cheers all and thanks for watching. I've got another build I'm going to go in now and start working on. There's always builds to work on, but it's a beautiful day today and uh, I'm kind of struggling to find the uh, the motivation to go in there, to be honest with you. I'm not drinking at the minute, so uh, it's mocktails for me and Lucas Aid Sport, but yeah. I'll get in there, I'll do a few little bits and bobs, and I hope everyone enjoys this fantastic weather where you are. Well, fantastic weather in the UK, at the Midlands anyway. Uh, regardless of weather, enjoy your weekend. Cheers all, and thanks for watching, I'll be back soon.